evening, everyone. Good evening. You're all looking wonderful. You look like money, all of you guys. <laughs> you look like money, yeah? In fact, I've removed my jacket because I've realized nobody here has a jacket. Yeah? I want to, be, to look like money, like you guys. Uh, I'm here to talk about a subject that is of great importance to all of us. One word, investment. Yeah? And I know, I don't want to go around the class asking people what is their understanding of the word investment, but we'll unravel it before the end of this session. I hope that we'll all have uh, our own personalized understanding of the word investment. And it will not just be a word, it will be really something that will move you to action. So I know you guys have a lot of stuff you've read and you have past exams and you're still being tested, but today it's about you. It's about you. If what you learn changes you, if what we learn here changes you, then today will be a worthwhile evening. I want to start by a, a statement that I found very profound by Warren Buffett. He said, allow me to just quote it, um, if you find if you don't find a way, and you can write this, if you don't find a way of making money while you sleep, if you don't find a way of making money while you sleep, you will probably work until you die. <coughs> Are we together? If you don't find a way of making money while you sleep, you will probably work until you die. Who wants to work until they die? Okay. Who wants to work to, to make money while they sleep? Then I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. In 2013, a survey was done and it came up with very interesting statistics. Warren Buffett was making $1.5 million every hour, even when you were sleeping. Every hour, even when you were sleeping. You can see the keywords I'm underlining is what? While you are? While you are sleeping. If you're not making money while you're sleeping, it means you are likely to work until you, until you die. I am here to make sure you don't work until you die. If you take today's class seriously, we'll have sorted that one out. Eh? Now, the question is, before you ask me, let me ask myself, how does one make money while they? How does one, <coughs> how does one make money while they sleep? <coughs> there are only two ways you can make money while you sleep. Number one is if you own a big business. Tell your neighbor, you must own a big business. Not a small business. <laughs> Not a kiosk. <laughs> you must own a what? A big business. If you don't own a big business, then you must do the second thing. You must invest. You must be an investor. Those are the only two ways that you can make money while you sleep. So what happens to the people who, who own their own businesses? Self-employed, so-called self-employed. The test is, if you cannot take six weeks, or even, let's stretch it, six months holiday, and still pay your bills, you are as good as employed. You are as good as employed. Mutaza, I can see you are, that is sinking in. <laughs> if your business needs you to survive, you are as good as what? Employed. And that's the one thing we must change because the test, the true test of making money while you sleep is the business must not need you. My entire 
mission, purpose here on earth is to make sure that I get you as fast as possible to a place where you make money while you sleep, enough to sustain you, that you don't have to go to work to sustain your lifestyle. But we'll still go to work, but we'll go to work for a different reason. Because we love what we do, and that's why we should be going to work. Are we together? So, there are two ways of making money while you sleep. I want to hear, I want to see whether, I'm a teacher by the way, eh? what are they? On a big business. On a big business, not a business. <laughs> On a what? A big or? Invest. invest. Now, the problem is, very few people own what? Big businesses. So most of us are left with one option, which is what? Yes. Must invest. Okay? Now, let's delve, dive deeper into investing. Why must everyone invest? Why do we invest? What is the, what is the whole idea of investing? Okay? To answer this question, I'm going to ask a, an extreme, I'm going to give an extreme illustration. I want to give you guys two options, two options. One option, I give you a million and you walk away. The other option, I give you one cent, 0 0.01 shilling, or if, you, if you work in dollars, 0 0.01 dollars. That doubles every day until the 31st day. Then it stops doubling. Which one will you take? Okay. Do you remember the program, Money of the Box? <laughs> there was a program called Money of the Box. Unless I, I belong to a very different generation. <laughs> Omo Pika Box. <laughs> so, two options. I give you a million, you walk away. Or I give you one cent that doubles every day for 31 days. And on the 31st day, it stop doubling, stops doubling. What will you choose? Okay, one million, I want to see the hands up. Allah? One million today. I can see people are crossing the floor. <laughs> One million. One going. <laughs> One million. One million you walk away. Okay, fine. Let's come back to order. How many, how many people will choose one cent? How many people are going to walk away with one cent? Okay. You know, Mwalimu, there is, we have one problem. There is a third, a third category that have chosen, they don't want one million and they don't want one cent. They want to walk away with nothing. I want to, with your permission, can you ask them to just walk away? <laughs> okay. The, who chose one, one cent? How do you, spell, how do you pronounce your name? Dowley? Dowley one. Dowley one. Dowley, why do you think it will be? And don't, have you calculated anything? Already You're already calculating. <laughs> so keep quiet. <laughs> what did you choose, Esther? One million, eh? One million. Jaffa? One million. Hakim? 0.01 cent. 
I can see he has a CFA calculator, by the way. So the question is, you know, every time you ask a question, you need to ask yourself, what is the real underlying question, isn't it? Eh? The real underlying question is, on the 31st day, what would be the value of 0 0.01 shilling, isn't it? What would be the value of one cent, isn't it? Eh? That's the real question we're asking. If you said one billion, then you have said it will be, uh, the one cent will be less than one? One million, isn't it? Eh? Okay. You have calculated. What was your answer? It will be more than a million. It will be more than a million. Okay. Who wants to know the number? The number is so big that I have to read it. On the 31st day, it will be 21 million. teacher, I have given you an opportunity. <laughs> and you chose one million and others chose nothing. So, on the, the magical day is the 26th. The day 26, it will move from 671,000 with a lot of shillings and it will double to what? 1.3 million. From there, you can't catch up. Yeah? What am I saying? Welcome to the eighth wonder of the world, which is compound the power of compounding, which is what Dr. Rivera has been teaching you every day. Right? So, the question is, how is this relevant to us? It, it may not be practically possible to multiply every day, isn't it? Eh? But the illustration still has some lessons to take away, isn't it? Eh? So what, I just want to hear, what, what, what have you picked from that illustration? Just three, four people. Ruth Njoki. <laughs> that one I know, so I can call a, a name that is not there. Yes. Get more information. Yeah. Try and understand what what are the returns of that investment. Yeah. Is it a short term investment or a long term investment? Okay. That's one. David? I'd say if you not consider the immediate value you're looking at now, but the potential value in the future. Mm-hmm. It's about the future, right? Yes. Okay. Jesse? This one has beaten time value. <laughs> Let's give him a clap. <laughs> I like that, Jesse. Yeah? It's a good bounce back. Cynthia. Time value of money. I can't, as you basically are saying, I can't wait for 
24 mil 21 million shillings just give me the 1 million i walk away you get eh? time value of money the reason why there is a discounting rate is so that it compensates you for what for delayed gratification isn't it eh? that's why the the time value of money comes in